GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand, presents the Galata Plus Mega Telugu Roundtable 2023. Powered by Number Family Builder and Developer Private Limited and Hospitality Partner Sheraton Hyderabad Hotel. GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Number Family Builder and Developer Private Limited. Ungal kanavigal nereveeru midam. We've done a pre yeah, that was also very good. Yeah, thing which which that has created so yeah. much. That was very nice. I saw yeah. a picture of you with a mask. No, like you didn't a... see it. No, you won't see my <laughs> thing. <laughs> you didn't see the teaser. <laughs> the teaser was very bad, sir. Yen na sir nenga. Okay, let's get on with the discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Galata Plus Mega Telugu Roundtable 2023. Thank you so much for being here. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you for having us here, sir. Uh, it's kind of there's like. Two people from Salar out here. Yes, sir. So I think we should begin with that. Mm. Like, hey. Uh, yeah, hey. yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. She's like the the nicest person in Salar, and you're the evilest person in in Salar. Mm. Yes. Like it took you some 15 years to get back to the Telugu industry. What happened? Well, I was waiting for Salar to happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, you're giving this punch. She's learned how to give <laughs> punch dialogue. This is all making yes, sense like, now. <laughs> yeah, I think she's mugged up her answers. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I, the stars are aligned right now. Yeah. to actually to give her this dialogue. No, I, uh, I mean that's the honest truth that I actually manifested this whole thing. Really? Absolutely. Right. You just said, I want this hero introduction shot. I want this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I, I always knew that if I do come back and I do get into movies again. I wanted to do something really substantial, right, and something which is uh, definitely out of the box. And I was not ready to compromise at all. So uh, yeah, I guess the wait so was to, good. So the fifteen years, nothing. It did come. Many okay. offers did come, but I wasn't interested. And like I said, I was waiting for Salar to happen. Wow, <laughs> wow. Shruti, how how has the Salar experience been for you? Because the thing is, there's so much attention on Kansar and that world. Whereas you belong to the other other part of Salar, like the the troublemaking the, side, the, the troublemaking, the karma part, the karma, the karma part, part. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like oh my god, damsel in distress. But uh, yes. all that uh, everything goes crazy because she shows up. She so shows she's up. She's not so calm. Yeah, you know, silent but violent she is. <laughs> yeah. silent but she causes all, all yeah, the violence. She yeah, she's that typical shit starter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so no, I mean, I I've always been a fan of. Any kind of movies that create these worlds convincingly, and I think uh, Prashant Neil. When I saw KGF, I was like, okay, yeah, it felt like a video game. It felt like a movie that you get sucked into, and so it reminded me of a lot of movies I loved as well, like that world creation. So when this film was offered to me, first of all, it's like to work with him and what he's done, but also it's. I think anybody who says they don't want to work with Prabhas or they don't want to be a part of a film like this would be lying. It's an added, yeah. so many added benefits for me to have done this film. Right. Yeah. What are these benefits? So I think it was like for me to be a part of this big production that is pan-Indian truly. You know, here we have Guruji of pan-Indian, <laughs> and to be truly pan-Indian in that sense, and to be a part of this world that Prashant sir creates so effectively, and. Um, I like I like that she was a shit starter in the story. Mm. You know, people are just going to use that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, he's already decided. He's <laughs> yeah, going to use no, that's going to be a hash that a hashtag. This. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be the um, shit starter. Shruti Hasan star. Oh God! <laughs> he's giving. You, he's making it worse. Yeah. Yeah. Triple S star. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I was really excited to be a part of this world to to play opposite Prabhas to be this character. But is it the most exciting character for me to play? No, yeah. and Prashant also knows that. I've told him a hundred times. Like, why does she need so much saving? But she did. Yeah. So for me, the joy was doing that convincingly. Right. Right. Yeah. So, tell me one thing. It's like when, uh, because you've been part of this industry for a, for a while now, and I'm sure you know the rules of these big hero movies. 
Why do the fights always happen in slow motion? <laughs> you gave me the toughest one. <laughs> <laughs> sir, I have the answer, sir. Okay. No, we uh, make Tarun answer. Yeah. 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 Punishment. Yeah. Punishment. Yeah. Punishment. So I think, uh, honestly, I think it's because uh, as an aesthetic, we have developed that aesthetic. Mm. You, your director started using it and we've got, audience have got used to it and like it. Right. And so I think uh, our directors are using it more and more right. because I think uh, to set up, of course, for the introduction shots, but also for the fight. So I think it kind of glamorizes. I, the I think hero. every industry has a fighting style. I remember when Crouching Tiger came, then that became the style. Then when the Bond series came and they had like close combat and you could feel the skin, then that became the. Right. So I think ours is just this. The slow motion is yeah. one of the things that I think as Indians. Why you don't like it? I believe not, no, not I'm, I'm curious as to because the thing is when, <laughs> Sir, when, you, <laughs> South when, when, you, when you see uh, Hollywood films, right? Like Gee. the Mission Impossible films or whatever. Uh, see, Crouching Tiger is the Eastern East side. So Hong Kong movies have slow motion. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. But but Hollywood doesn't typically we, because no. that's everything in real time unless it's like Face a off. matrix effect or Face off. that's or John Woo. Yeah, John Woo. Yeah. So, yeah. so you said you had an answer. So basically, sir, uh, our Indian films are driven by emotion. Right. So slow motion actually depicts an emotion of the fan or the audience. Okay. They have a, a celebratory mm. moment. It can be anything they want to shout. So the slow motion gives them that time. That Even time in a to fight. Show, time to fight. Inter introduction yes. fight. So well yeah, when said, they want correct. to introduce the hero. So it is yeah. for their viewing yeah, pleasure. Really. Exactly. Yeah. So, so the audience will connect to that immediately. Yeah. Hurry, wow, my hero is coming. Yes, I want to shout. So that gives them the time. Yeah. So it's a celebration. Right. Celebration of the whole, uh, him coming to the theater and watching the, the show with his, uh, of his hero. Correct. So that is a, like a, an emotion for him. Right. So that actually captures that. So for every Indian film, for any Indian actor, Slow motion is where they get introduced. Right. No, introduction, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that, yeah, yeah. In that way only. So, my. So the same logic for the introduction where you're giving the fans time to enjoy the hero yes, sir, sir. applies to the fight sequences also. Yeah. So, I actually got introduced like normally in a film called Republic right. where there was no slow motion. It was just me. But still, they had slow motion, like paper coming through or something or other because they wanted to have that celebratory moment. Anticipation. That anticipation. Anticipation, yeah. That's so exactly. that is what to be able. That's why you use a lot of uh, these uh, slow motions. Slow motion. So you are not a big slow motion fan because you don't have action in your films. Like, uh, like not much. necessarily, sir. As in now, this Kira Kola, uh, whatever I've done, uh, it was a childhood dream for me to do crime comedy. I'd seen Guy Ritchie's work, Edgar mm. Wright, Snatch, all of no? that. Snatch was one of the. Naka, choose never. Hey, it's Snatch. This theatrical comedy. I'm like very close to Snatch. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm very close to Snatch. Yeah, okay. So, uh, we paid tribute to Coen Brothers through another film and this one was uh, purely for Guy Ritchie. Yeah. So, in terms of those edits and everything, uh, really, really paid tribute to Guy Ritchie. I kind of... Okay, uh, okay, I mean, really, uh, surrender. No, surrender. No. That's more of Guy, Guy Ritchie's style of dialogues. Yeah. I was like... <laughs> Oh, this is like very, very Gai Gai Ritchie. Gai Ritchie, Telugu long yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Gai Ritchie, you can't take it. I was like, why did Gai, Gai Ritchie come into Telugu? <laughs> oh, this is Kira Kora. Oh, Tarun Bhatt Kha Simba. So that actually caught me that. Actually, so, very good. Job. Yeah, sir. So I really was fascinated by films like that. Got the opportunity to do it this time. This time, I think the first time I tried out action. Right. And we had a lot of high speed yeah. shots as well. Uh, we shot with the Phantom. But uh, I think uh, it's left to the filmmaker whether the treatment is redundant or is it actually uh, enhancing an emotion. I think it has to be constant experimentation. Definitely after a while, slow motion is going to become redundant. Right. Then you have to use your edit or anything else. You do think it's going to become redundant? I think so. I mean, um, I think we are uh, on the brink of it, I feel. I don't know if it's going to take a while for audiences to get there. But I think there were lots of techniques that we have left behind. And now we're focusing on the slow motion, I guess. Right. But that's also, since we're talking and we're still having a giggle when we're talking about slow motion, it's a sign that it's also becoming redundant. No, I'm, my, my, my as main thing is... As long as there is I, hero worship or that celebratory movement, no, I don't I, think see, it I mean, yeah. no, narrative no, style, why is it... It works. No, yeah. So, no, yeah. my point is not to... I, I don't mock it because I enjoy slow motion as well. But my... my, my the, the why I was saying it, because we've just seen Salar and there's a lot of slow motion in that. Right. But it's in every big hero film. I find it a little contradictory that we say that we are attention deficit and 
like everybody's on their smartphones, they're scrolling all the time, they've, 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 they don't want to stick at one moment or one scene or anything very long. Yeah. But on the other hand, you have like movies that use slow motion extensively and draw out that emotion for a long Correct. time. Correct. So I find it a little contradictory that we are supposedly living in an age where everything is hyper fast. Right, right. And then the movies are like celebrating this the slowness of the emotion. So that's why I was trying to figure out. But like, I think the, actually it, exactly what you're saying, I feel the slow motion makes them pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like the shining. It enhances the whole the aspect. Yeah. They're waiting for that one yeah. moment. Right. But so having example, said that, like your short film, I forgot the name, and Pitta Katalo. Ramula. Ramula. So that actually, that's how I got to know about him. Because there were these slow motion shots yeah. that was so emotional and like magical. Right, right. It was like a song. Right. And I was like, who the hell made this? And it was so much of it. Right, right. There's yeah, so much of so it. So much of it. But in an emotional story. And it, it was not a build up. Right. It was a crashing down in yeah, slow down motion. Policy. Yeah, it was beautiful. So. He's established some kind of a, like a parallel industry. Mm. <laughs> like all, all these people making big movies and then suddenly there's a Tarun Vaskar. There's like all these, like you're the, you're the patron saint of, mm. uh, right? He's like, he's become new that. Age right? uh, new age filmmaker. New age filmmaker. He's got his own meter, uh, really. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah. like, did you think you'd become the patron saint no, of... No, sir, not really. Uh, in fact, now I'm kind of at crossroads. I want to make the big film. Oh, my God. Uh, that's the idea. In yeah. fact, Shobhu sir and I also had a discussion yeah. before Kida Kola. Yeah. Are you breaking this news on this round table? Please tell me. Uh, no, 100%. No, like, okay. yeah. Yeah. So, it's all about the footfalls. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as a filmmaker, it's all about having empathy. And I think I have empathy for all the different sections of audience. Right. If I'm trying to alienate myself from them, I think I'm being very narcissistic in a way and very elite i don't want to take no that. no I'm, I'm not at all i like like so, see i don't think you know making a i don't know why you thought that that you were distancing because, yourself from the audience it's like yeah, because, because big films everybody likes right it's everybody like, likes yeah, them yeah. so it's all about the footfalls and as a filmmaker i want to say something the ultimate goal of a filmmaker is for everybody to watch what? it what so that's the ultimate validation and i don't think i see that i was seeing that clearly I was actually just uh, putting focus on to what I want to do, what I want to do. But as a famous filmmaker said, if you are the only person on the planet, would you still make films? I would still make it for everybody else. So I'm trying to reach, uh, widen that horizon and, you know, right. try to understand what is it that they're deriving from heroes. Uh, use stars to basically tell a story that's effective, uh, but still retaining that authenticity that I want to talk about the theme that I want to talk about. Very interesting. Very nice. So, yeah. That's 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 yeah. that's a to try look and see forward. If a sweet spot. Yeah, and yeah. with your voice, I'm really curious to see what the the kind of flavor yeah. you'd bring to a yeah, it's, to it's, a big movie like a. It's very like painful. A, you know? No, no, there's <laughs> definitely a sweet spot there. Definitely, yeah, there's a yeah. sweet spot there. There is a sweet spot. Yeah, I absolutely. Sure. I completely yeah. agree with you. But Where you have make a, a hero accept that that's that's a major task. Yeah, so that's, that's the a biggest idea, task, I think. Because I believe that uh, if we look into the psyche of the audience, True. there's some kind of liberation they're getting from watching that hero. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, they must be really, really suppressed in their real life. That they're looking for some escapism through the hero. Yeah, it's always like a horse race. The winning horse is always bet on. As long as it runs and wins the race, otherwise it's a donkey. Mm. <laughs> so they move on very quickly from yeah. one hero to yeah. the other. Yeah. They forget very quickly. Yeah, they forget stars as well. Aspirations change quickly. Aspirations yeah. change very quickly. Yeah. So I feel that uh, I just want to understand the psych of that and try to see if I can do some kind of gratifying theme for that and build something around. What, like bringing Mickey Rook back in the box? Or? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. See, or I've, I've got it. Know? That's yeah. what he wants That's to do. That's what he's going to do. So yeah. Is that what he's going to do, Shavu? Uh, like, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you, you were Tomatoes talking were about there. the sweet spot. You kind of, I think, What's that? You you were kind of going somewhere with that sweet spot. No, no, thing, I'm yeah. saying uh, the like Tarun kind of a filmmaker uh, and uh, a commercial hero, if, if they come together uh, with his sensibilities and thing, I think there is a sweet spot which mm. you can create something new. Nice. Something yeah. new and yeah. something uh, which we have not seen before. I think there's an opportunity there. Right. And I also heroes also, uh, 
will get typecast into one thing if you keep doing the same thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Correct. So for them also, it's a liberating thing if yeah. you if you yeah. get the opportunity to do something different, right? Yeah. Which also meets their image and their uh, you know persona yeah. or what their yeah. fans expect. Yeah. You know, you can't suddenly go and make an art film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. but but what Tarun is saying, where you have that commercial elements, some escapism. But some, but again, something of Tarun yeah. or that kind of filmmaker. His element. Uh, his yeah, element. Right, yeah. You know, you can't also. forever keep making, you know, KGFs and you know th that's there's scope for that. But there is also, I think, a scope for yeah. this. Right. Maybe uh, Tarun's version of KGF can be done. Yeah. That's or what they are hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> you, you never know. Yeah. You never, you never Ooh, know. That'll Anything be very can happen. Interesting. Oh, so speaking of heroes, yes, sir. you've had a very interesting year. You yes, sir. Scored your biggest hit of your career sir. with Virupaksha. Sir. And you also had a like an accident before that, which kind of yeah. leading up to this. Yes. So, like, how did that? You had a down, you had an up. How, how was life? That's how life is, no, sir. Right. Mm -hmm. So, life always pulls you down at, and then it brings you back up again. Was Virupaksha sweeter because it came after the accident? Sir, uh, the prayers when I had an accident was more sweeter. After I woke up, woke up from a coma, when I saw all the messages, that actually got me happiness. Right. That gave me happiness more than the success of Virupaksha that people actually from all the different uh, sectors, they actually prayed for me. That was more, that, that, that was my success. Right. Mm. That was more happiness. The kind of uh, welcome that I got on set on the first day of shoot, that actually gave me tears. Right. In happiness. Of course. That was more uh, overwhel overwhelming than the success of Virupaksha. Right. Because I know Virupaksha can be a very good film. But th this I didn't expect. So this actually gave me more happiness. Right. True happiness. That's my true success. Wow. People's prayers. So, looking back at your two films this year, Virupaksha sir. and Bro, sir. why do you think Virupaksha worked so well and why do you think Bro did not live up to expectations? Sir, Bro, one thing, sir, it's more than the success of uh, Virupaksha, Bro actually did very good numbers. Yeah, but, but it's then, seen but then perception. People, but then uh, Kalengaru's image was, was something which was overshadowing that. So, the kind of numbers that they wanted from Bro were not matching up to their uh, range. Right. But then both the films are a success. And I kind of feel very happy that I was able to spend the time with my uncle more than anything else. Because when I was, when I was growing up, he was the one who taught me how to play with Lego. He was mm -hmm. the one who showed me English films, Hollywood films, Rambo, uh, Enter the Dragon. So it was more of me spending time with him. Right. That gave me a lot of happiness. I didn't bother about the success of the film. I, I, the success for me was to act with my uncle, the guy who got me into acting, who actually pushed me to be an actor, or who supported me to be an actor. He got me into different acting schools. He, he taught me uh, uh, martial arts. He made sure that I went to these, uh, these classes. So I was like, that was more like a tribute paying. Right. Many people will not be able to accept it, but for me, it was more of paying a tribute to my guru, right. to my teacher, who taught me a lot of things so in life. Yeah. Nice. So like, that was the biggest takeaway for me. I yeah. don't think we'd ever imagine we'd hear Pavan Kalyangar who got someone Legos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He actually has, he actually so has to him, which is... Yeah, I know, he's really? very... Yeah. But not Lego, I did no, not no. think Legos. We both played Lego. Mm. He okay. actually got me into uh, Lego. He, I, even right now, even if I, if I buy a Lego, I buy a, buy a set for him too. That mm -hmm. is sweet. So my mother actually gives money to Kalemoya just to play to to buy Lego. To buy Lego. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For his birthday, he was like, "Nana no kono When you saw what Prashant had dreamt up for Kansar, I'm not sure that you you kind of did you did you get to know that part as well? Yes. Right. So what like both of you? What was that like? It was uh, when I mean she said you know, entering a new world and all that, but what, what did you, what was your instinctive, like, reaction to that, the world that he had created? See, he had worked on this for over, I think, two years. Right. He was very clear in what he wanted to tell. And I remember going into his office um, and discussing the script, and he had these white big boards all over his room and explaining everything, which many people didn't understand after watching the film. But so he, the first board had the family tree. The second board had where each character's dynamics, how each one is related to the other. And the third one had uh, how this Kansar came to life, right? And then the fourth board had how each uh, character was going to be designed as, what each one was going to wear. And so there, 
had a lot of hard work that did go into this and it was very uh, ambitious right if i may say so but uh, i think yes the hard work uh, was uh, put in and i think the world building that he was uh, trying to say this is only the beginning we are only scratching the surface right now right so everybody needs to give us a break we have put stuff together in the this part and the actual story actually begins when part 2 comes right so what can you tell us about part 2 <laughs> i can just tell you that i'm going to be meaner yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then kansa looked like wakanda i was telling you before also that kind of uh, i gave me the image right. no, new this, world it see i was i was going to say based on your question i've grown up on movie sets and some of the 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 wildest sets have been apa sets but no matter how many years i'm in this business and grown up in it i remember going to that set and my neck was craning backwards yeah, to see it yeah there was what you see is actually what it, it was you, it is a whole city yeah it is not like pinnadi attapotti and ah, exactly. like, you know what yeah. i mean it was like it was walkable yeah from top they were using the and first those floor the second that you floor. see which yeah. rajamana are sat in they are not like like she said yeah. attapotti they are really heavy it was real and it was daunting and big and i never ever get over this even if like i'm making a small music video and we can afford only you know 50 crew members then you go to salar and there's like 500 people working to like just i never get over it doesn't matter how many years i'm working right and the salar kind of a set overwhelms you even more Because there's one person to do every little thing to make this. And when she was saying, huge. "Sorry to cut you," like yeah. the five hundred people every day. Right. Every day. It is not just on one particular fight or whatever. It was every day. Right. There would be about five hundred. And there was something people. militant about the set. Like everyone was so like focused, yeah. like Shaolin monks at work. Yeah. You know, yeah. they were just. So the statues are real. Yeah. It was the throne. heavy. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah. Everything was heavy. All those trucks were not like that. You know, we go pss, pss, and do finish <laughs> up. It wasn't like that. It was like a proper statue. It was yeah. properly rusted. Things were properly falling apart. Things were properly being and welded the, together. And the climax nice. where Rajmadar yeah. is explaining that whole thing—it was so stunning. It was a piece of art. That table, it was beautiful. Everything was overwhelming. Yeah, right. That the, it was. So the only color in the film was her clothes. The rest are <laughs> yeah. all like black. Yeah. Or I was black. so upset. I couldn't <laughs> wear black. <laughs> Because I was like, in this movie, at least they'll allow me to wear black. This is why you're I... making up for it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. black is my yeah. thing. Yeah, and I go there going, Prashant, he's gonna make me wear black, and then he's like, wear brown. <laughs> <laughs> red, <laughs> red, day, brown. Right. Yeah. So, so Shobu, would you say that that you're the person with Bahubali who pretty much kicked off this age, this age of these gigantic mega productions? Because I know that there have been, you know, big movies like. Jagat Ek Viru do all those yeah. you know like yeah. where they had these very fancy sets of heaven yeah. and this and that and all that, but as a consistent mega production, would so, you say? Yeah, I think see uh, in the, uh, yeah, Bahubali was uh, I think one of the f- most recent times the one that started uh, the world building. Right, the pan concept Indian, of world pan, building. Pan India, pan India. Uh, yeah, the, and then the pan India, but world building started with uh, Bahubali. Mm. Uh, at least in the Indian context, yeah. I'm not talking about the marvels of the world and all. Yeah. But Indian context, I think a detailed world building, uh, uh, Bahubali uh, Rajmouli uh, pioneered that. Uh, he, uh, we had uh, like a manual. Uh, we still have uh, on the Bible for Bahubali of each and every character, their backstories. Uh, what was the economy? What was the of Mahishmati? What was the currency? What was what? What would they grow? What would they trade on? You know, it was like a whole Bible. and that is like the central piece for uh, everything and then of course all the arts and concept art and character designs and everything so i think the, yeah wow. the world building was uh, f- first started by uh, rajmouli and then uh, pan india also of course uh, i think uh, bahubali uh, laid yeah. the path for it we yeah. built uh, we yeah. built yeah. so, so looking yeah. back now right. like uh, like of course rajmouli has a fantastic track record of successes but this movie was also at at a at a scale that was fairly unprecedented for you as a producer yeah so what made you say i'm going to get it to this you know like a uh, because why i'm getting at that is because the success of that the mega success right. of that those move those two films has pretty much paved the way for everything that we are yeah. seeing today mm. Absolutely. right so yeah. that's 
So for us, see, one is, I'll, I always say this, me and Rajmuli have a long relationship. Right. That goes way back, including Maria Ramana and all that. Yeah, but yeah. Even before Maria Ramana, I have a relationship. And we hit it off very well. I, I thoroughly, both of us thoroughly enjoyed producing Maria Ramana. And we wanted to do something bigger. And that's how uh, Bahubali manifested. And when we, uh, when we heard, me and Prasad, my partner, when we heard the story, Bahubali story, when Rajmuli narrated it, we loved it. Uh, and we love the characters, we love the thing, but we knew it was it was going to be big, and uh, it was going to be big, and it was not going to fit in one film, uh, and it was a thing. So actually, Rajmouli gave us the gave us the thing. He said, Shobu, if you don't, if you are Shobu and Prasad, if you are not comfortable with this kind of a project, no issues. We spent at that time we probably spent about a crore or two. You know, getting the story and all that, uh, something, some storyboard. Uh, no, not the storyboard, just the, the story. Initial, thing. initial oh. things. And he said, "Don't worry. I mean, don't worry about that. We'll go back we'll, with Prabhas only. We will do a uh, more like conventional that. project. This I'll do it at some other time. Right. Uh, and uh, whenever it will happen, it will happen. But uh, if we are, but once I get going on this, there's no pulling back. Mm. Uh, once we start rolling on this, I can't pull back. You know, then we have to go all the way, right? So we thought about it and said, no, we'll go all the way." So that's, uh, me and Prasad said, no, we love the characters, we love the world. And more importantly, we trust Rajmouli, both personally and professionally. Right. Uh, and so I count personally also very important, the trust that we have. And uh, and we got into it not knowing how deep it is <laughs> that we are uh, getting into. And then um, and then it happened, it just happened. Then we had to, then from then on, once a decision was made, it was a matter of seeing it through. So we had to do whatever I had to do to get there and from there it is no i mean uh, no logic and uh, no, uh, we had to you know just keep keep it going did, did you get cold feet at any point first part uh, definitely multiple <laughs> times <laughs> especially when we were shooting the war episode because we didn't have at the time there was now I mean, even second part we had uh, vfx uh, no previous and all yeah, that came yeah. in the second part we had detailed previous in the, by the time we came into second part First part, we didn't have the, we didn't think of it, we didn't have the budget, so most of it was storyboarding. So when we went to the war with a storyboard, it was very detailed storyboard, but it was, it it was uh, executing those shots that Rajmouli had storyboarded, was like uh, uh, taking forever, you know. Like one day, I like uh, two, four, five days into the war, I was looking at the accounts. It's like we're spending 25 lakhs a day. <laughs> I'm talking about, and for every four days is a crore. So I went to Rajmouli. Rajmouli. <laughs> so, so we actually paused the shoot for one day. Okay. And then you catch uh, your breath. Uh, catch your breath. And then catch, look at the numbers and say, are we? You know, is there something going wrong or is this? And then you look at it and they said, and then we did all the math, and then we tried to tighten a few things, but. Nothing changed, but at least we paused for a day to just... <laughs> 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 that day, 25 lakhs saved. Just one day of... Yeah, yeah. 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 Day yeah. So but yeah, but yeah. that was... Uh, yeah. Right, right. I, I, that, I've always wondered about that, so I, I just want to ask because... Because of, because of Sir's planning or the movie's planning, for us, no, for my uh, Republic film, we did storyboarding, we focused on the shots, short division. So we did uh, a particular sequence and it was supposed to be like 10 days, we finished it off in 5 days. Yeah. Right. It's all because of the planning, the, the, the path for us to go ahead. Right, right. So in that way, there are a lot of films where they can actually follow the synopsis of Bahubali's uh, po uh, uh, before shoot. That they can actually follow, like right. previews or the storyboarding and follow them in the short division. That will actually uh, help us to cut down on the production, cost of production. Right, right. So. so when you made your debut, right, right and sir. made with that that gigantic hit yeah. uh, <laughs> called Pelletio Blues, you were coming in from the outside, right, sir, and like you're kind of coming into an industry that's known for a particular kind of film. Though there are all kinds of films being made, but Correct. predominantly when you when the outside world sees Telugu films, they see these films are these big right, blockbuster kind of films, right? What kind of said? I can do this. I can I can go ahead and I can do this. So I was very honestly blissfully ignorant about the industry. Right. And I think that helped because I never uh, was an AD on film set. Yeah. So I didn't understand the grammar. I didn't know how the uh, how things would work. Right. Which made me the grammar more of the industry. Grammar of the film set. Right, right. Because that's very different from every industry. So I I was uh, 
I didn't know what to do. So I was actually anxious about uh, my process and I over prepped, which is what led to a better uh, film, I feel. Because even for Pelichupulu, there was a line production process in place, whether it was shortlisting, storyboarding or uh, floor plans, including uh, doing tech recce and uh, <clears throat> general couple of recce, not just one recce. All of that, because I was so organized, had to be organized because I didn't want to lose even mm -hmm. one rupee. The whole film costed 63 lakhs, but that was everything for me then. Mm -hmm. And I was very blissfully ignorant about the industry. Now I think there's a bigger burden because now I'm aware of everything. Right. Now to actually wash away that, go back to that innocence and make a film from that authenticity is becoming very difficult. Because now I know yeah. <laughs> how things work. I believe one thing is that it's not burden, it's more responsibility. More responsibility, yeah. 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 Think not of it like responsibility that. Responsibility. Responsibility. Yeah, <laughs> even uh, they, back in the day when they were doing Pelli Chupla, I remember Suresh Babu were telling. They're so planned, they're doing everything. Yeah, because of the fear. <laughs> <laughs> when Pelli Chupla actually became massive, I had an anxiety attack. <laughs> because I didn't know how, <coughs> how it actually became. Like, as in, you couldn't handle the success. Yeah, so, in, in fact, uh, anxiety is a thing that's been passed on from generations from my grandfather. Not ancestral wealth, they passed on anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> that is your family heirloom, anxiety. Yeah. yeah, that's also kind of my superpower. Yeah. Because I worry too much about things and I think I get it more organized. Oh my God, you have touched a deep nerve in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you guys should work together. Yeah, <laughs> and be anxious together. <laughs> so, that led to what? So, that led to better planning. As uh, uh, Dante says, also saying like, uh, Sir, please, I'm scared right now. Mm. <laughs> this is better. This, this is getting me more anxious right now. You're calling me sir. He's just passing it on. Yeah, yeah. 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 call me it's sir. That's, that's, that's like, like <laughs> <laughs> so that helped me better. Uh, it was more organized that way, and I just did it by the book. Whatever film school taught, whatever the rules were, other foreign industries were doing, because already it's a chaotic industry. Uh, to bring order to this, we need to really plan. And right. pre-production is a great place because that's where the money doesn't leak. Right. And I think that helped a lot because I feel that every story can be a super hit. It's all about the numbers. Right. Yeah. As long as the budget is in place, I feel that you, if you're aware yes. of the market, I mean, uh, a lot of people don't consider inflation. Yeah. They don't un can't yeah. understand GSTs, taxes. That was a hard learning for me to understand that, okay, my film has grossed this much, why is this much coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so, that uh, kind of really, really opened up a lot of things. Right. So. Yeah, that's so true. The pre-planning de determines the ultimate true success yes, of any absolutely. any story. And yeah. in today's time, it's even more easier. Unless it's a terrible it. story. Unless it's a terrible yeah. story. Which will so probably get in pre-production. Yeah. I think the movies are made on three tables, sir. One, the writing, the writing table. Second, the ed edit table. And third is the table profit. <laughs> yeah. mm. Table profit is very important. Yeah, actually, right. That, that, is that actually shows yeah. uh, pa leads path to other tables as well. Right. The right. next table. Yeah. Right. So right. the three like tables. Are, tables. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> there you go. Good there one. you go. <laughs> Not bad. You're catching up, sir. You're catching on yeah, to yeah. us. Do that's the mood of the round table. So. <laughs> you become like a Telugu dialogue. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. She's teaching me now. Yeah. <laughs> so, but Shruti, you you have found. So much of longevity and success in Telugu film I industry. I found a home in Telugu yeah. film. Yeah. Like, Anagaga yeah. uh, was... My first. Your first, which was like, over what, 10 years ago? Maybe. 15. 15 years. No, for 13. 13, yeah. Yeah, 13 years ago. Good at math as well. Okay. No, so, no, yeah. only yeah. counting my yeah. age, all women are good at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but so, like, what explains that, you know? I mean, why I'm saying this, because one would typically expect you to... Like, you know, uh, the Tamil industry to be a, uh, like a proper yeah, home field. This, like. this uh, equation and cal Well, my parents say it's because they fell madly in love in this city. So they always say they left a little magic behind here for me. Mm -hmm. And I think it's such a sweet thought. And I think that there is also... Everyone knows Appa everywhere. So even here, they're like, oh, Kamalgar Kutro, that's there. But it's not at the, the proximity that you feel it in Tamil Nadu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's actually a very good answer. Very, very Which good. is good yeah. for me also. Right, right. Yeah. It was very good for me as well. And I also live in Bombay. Further moving away from both these places, I didn't strategically plan it that way, but I followed my yeah. gut feeling of how I wanted to live. And um, I started in Tamil and 
with Murugada sir, with such a huge project, such a great role. Yeah. But that pressure I felt even on the six pages of Tamil dialogue and people saying, Appa, Uchari I was like, <laughs> But you know, um, when I came to the Telugu film industry, my first two films did not do as people expected. Let's not say well or not well, right, as right. people expected, even from me, from the film, whatever. But actually, that was a very ambitious film. Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. Your first film? Yes, yeah. it was. And like Prakash till date is, I consider a brother, a dear friend. So I'm, I've made a lot of valuable connections that have enriched my life personally as well from Telugu cinema. So when I say Telugu cinema is a home, at one point they were like Hindi picture, they were like, it didn't work. The Tamil film, they were like, yeah, but face rumbo or madri foreign figure. <laughs> <laughs> I was so hearing fair. all these things and I was too young to understand what it means to just say, I own the prize, my prize. You know, like when he was saying, I didn't know these things, so it's a savior, you know. Right, right. When Gabbar Singh worked for me here, it was a turning point, not just in my Telugu career, in life. Because right. everyone was saying, Zero on ten, uh, two on ten, zero. That's how I was feeling. And I wasn't even, an, I wouldn't say I'm an ambitious person, but I'm a very hardworking person and my hard work wasn't seeming to translate. I didn't understand that there is so much of fortune, goodwill, so many things that are outside of you showing up every day. Right. So for me, Telugu cinema after Gabbar Singh became, come, come here, we'll, we'll take care. So I try to take care and return through humility and hard work forever. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's like a... Because this year, you've had Walter Viraya, you've had... Veera uh, Samaradi. Uh, yeah. Veera Samaradi. Veera Samaradi. Yeah. You had a, like, a, like a cameo in uh, Hai Nana. Yeah. And then uh, Salar. Yeah. That's like incredible. Yeah. Uh, and you announced for, another film And the well. is happening yeah. as with Adi yeah. Shesh, right? Yeah. It's like a... Yeah. yeah. So it's like... This is kind of going on because uh, one, one of the things that that is slowly beginning to happen in the southern industries is the longevity of the heroine, which was not always... Of course, there have always been exceptions, but traditionally, you know, there's always been a... Like, as, as sad as it to yeah. say, a shelf life. Yeah, yeah. you know, course. like... like a, they, I always yeah, say... There was, yeah. There yeah. was, early, earlier, there was like Sri Devi and Ramakrishna. Yeah, there they, are. They had are. A yeah, lot that's of, what I'm saying. There are always exceptions. And then there was a phase where they were uh, very... They were not uh, lasting. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're not able yeah. to sustain for a long time. I think and now again, I think it's coming back. Where I know, I think every... I think it's a mindset of those who... I've been asked hundreds of times... Oh, this And that is my mindset. And unfortunately, the shelf life comes very much added into this image of what is young, what is relevant, what is the, the fresh new flower in the flower garden. But know? having said that, times are changing. changing yeah, yeah. Times I, are changing, yeah. but I think it's integral for man, woman, whoever. Longevity is a mindset, you know, whether you're a male star, female star, whatever, director, writer, you have to understand, I think, in your mindset, I want to stay. And with that comes challenges of staying relevant, not by being young or being current with what works, what Absolutely. people are thinking, what is a woman of today and how do I represent these very many women. So that is homework you have to do for longevity outside of preparing for a character. And so also, sorry, yeah. also like directors like you yeah. should come up with interesting characters for Oh women. my God, we're like, totally yeah. at the you mercy know, of this. Yeah, People so are that like, is why aren't you doing more thing, like yeah. this? Yeah. And I'm like, from where? If it comes on Lena, So yeah. that is a definite. And now I'm learning to take to put my money where my big mouth has been and take those <laughs> risks. <laughs> and do those things. Right. Yeah. Right. But Shreya, when, when you were away for such a long time, you've been in some kind of showbiz or the other for the, for the longest time. You were, you were a VJ, SS Music, then films happened, uh, and then this enormous break. Like, did you have what people call the acting bug or whatever it is? Or you just said, I, 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 like, like you no, said... of uh, course. I would be lying if I say no. Um, every single day, I would tell myself, what am I doing sitting at home? Right. Every single day that fire inside me would be burning and every time I would go out, people would say, 
you know you're so talented why are you sitting at home and that would be like the worst you know and but somewhere in the back of my head i knew that i wanted to do something fabulous i was not going to settle for something less and that i was very confident about right, right. so i think i was just sheer luck like you know i said you know just let's wait it out and let's wait for something great even when prashant came and told me the story i said no to him because i said again you know you have these big heroes no but that takes a determination as well to be able to say no is harder than because saying because i didn't yes. want to come and make a fool of myself to be honest you know i wanted to come and i wanted to create an impact and i wanted to do something which would prove me as an actor because i would never consider myself anything else right. i would always believe that i'm an actor and i would like to come and perform so even today when after salar people are only saying she's a good actor afterwards mm -hmm. they're like okay you really look good sir so that was not my intention you know mm -hmm. so yeah but having said that i think um, when prashant came and told me the story i said no he said why he said i said you have these big male superstars and what am i going to come and do here right so he said no i promise you that it is going to be a very very strong character and i still didn't believe him because of everybody else's track records right because they say they promise certain things filmmakers and when you go and finally see this so yeah i was just trying to look like <laughs> <laughs> this is i'm the one who will believe only in the first narration <laughs> then i'll be like ayyo <laughs> so, yeah. so i didn't want that ayyo yeah, to yeah. happen so i never i i gave him a really tough time we went on with this back and forth thing for almost 6 months and i said till you craft a well written role for me i'm not going to do it so that is why he had to take me there to his office and show me these boards and all of that and it also takes a very very secure and a confident um, man to write roles like that for women true uh, and to have these discussions also which was so easy with him yeah, yeah i mean i'm like i'm just imagining because like another director might could have just easily say okay offended. this is way too much trouble yeah, let's just go with somebody offended. else yeah, yeah yeah no but that's why i'm saying that you know uh young filmmakers need to have that you know to write uh, interesting roles i'm not saying strong all the time strong roles for women but interesting roles right hmm. uh why should all the men have all the fun i mean here we are uh, also bringing in to the craft where we are also equally good mm -hmm. so i think these kind of but i think it's a societal reflection also but i think that's also changing and also so right so slow uh, <laughs> the actors are not being insecure so <laughs> like for example in in uh, salar Prabhas Anna or Prithvi Raj sir were were not insecure about her presence. Right. They knew that they had their space to perform. And I would also like to say about the next film that I'm doing, which is Uncle o oh, uh, Oji. Oji. He is another such a secure actor. He is so secure. Person. Yeah, secure as a person and as an actor. You know, he doesn't care. I was like, I want to come and stand in front of you, and I want to do this. I want to fight. He's like, yeah, you do what you want as long as I, you don't trouble me. <laughs> so he, he's, he's that secure. Even Prabhas is very secure. Yeah. So right. because very, of very that, secure. because of that, the, my uh, my earlier film, Virupaksha, was more of the girl story, yeah. the girl's revenge. Yeah. But then people are telling like, what are you doing there? Right. I'm like, I'm the one who's opening the opening the whole plot. Mm. Right. Virupaksha means the third eye, which which means the show the guy which shows the truth. So I'm showing I'm showing the truth. So that actually gave me a much more kick than actually the story. So uh, we have a lot guess. of secure men here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very very happy. That's so what my Shobu, I think one question on everybody's mind is, what have you been doing? In, in counting his money. Yeah, yeah. yeah counting. <laughs> apart, okay, okay. Let me rephrase really this. Apart something. from counting your money, what have you been doing? No, I kind of resonate with what Shreya was saying. Basically, after Bahubali, uh, one we took a. Consciously took a step back. Just wanted to. We didn't want to be in the rat race making something else just for the sake of doing it. And uh, and then COVID happened. Right. <laughs> and then uh, we were forced to take a break. So by, when we were just about to get going, then but uh, but we've been working on uh, with the platforms. So also we had a setback with uh, Bahubali series, which was supposed to be a big major project. So we had invested quite a bit of time and energy into that, um, and that was a setback for us. uh so that uh, so those two kind of pushed us back a little that took a lot of time yeah it took a lo lot of time we lost time uh, not money but time and then covid happened and then just to get into the groove and move keep, keep, i think we want to do stories that we like and uh, we've been talking and now i think next year we have a 
two projects for sure that, that, that are going on the floor next year yeah. uh, and uh, maybe third so two or three projects for sure right. two for projects for sure third we are trying to put and they are uh, like like from small to big they are small uh, not not small but medium mi mid sized projects mid sized projects uh, mid sized projects so those are happening but we have been also uh, i've been uh, i like technology uh, so i like so i've been dabbling a lot with ai and uh, looking at uh, ai for uh, so we're looking at a startup for uh, ai based workflow for visual effects and uh, i uh, love animation. the ai everyone's so, scared and i really yeah, love. yeah. So we're sure, I love. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everybody's like, <laughs> yeah. your job's going to go away because Chat GPT is going to yeah. take over. <laughs> like, you know, so. so yeah, so th that's what we. But we've also been busy with uh, sh uh, shows that we are working with for all the platforms. Right. Uh, all the major platforms we're working on shows for. Them. Yeah. Right. Right. So, but yeah, but it's been a. I was just reflecting on my 2023. There's nothing I did in 2023. So hopefully 24 will be better. Right. But you're planning. So that's yeah. Good. Planning. Yeah. Like, yeah. Planning also yeah. 2023. Yeah. So yeah. So and also these days projects are taking time to. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Everything is taking time. Right. Sir, yeah. Sir, I think after the lockdowns, the people are exposed to a lot of uh, world cinema. So they're expecting the kind of quality of the film, not the quantity. Right. They were they want the quality of the of that film, the world cinema. So we have to make sure that we have to sit back and write, make sure we get the quality yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then Projects for are. them to get them to a theater, we have to give them something, something very exciting. Right, right. Or it'll be very difficult. So Tarun, why do you think, uh, like when you do a post analysis, right? Why do you think Kida Kola worked? I mean, what was it that brought people, and what was it that was, uh, like, among the new gen things? Right. It's like. How do you... Uh... No, I think uh, one thing is uh, when I was checking the distribution reports of Kida Kola, I would have wanted it to go percolate further into Andhra and CJ, which is untouchable right now by small and medium films. But having said that, what I've realized is uh, whether it's a star or a, a star director or whatever, people are now gauging the film by its poster and trailer. That's first what's kind look. of getting some kind of the buzz. The first look, no? Yeah, because I feel that Shah Rukh Khan uh, couldn't get the opening with Rajkumar Hirani's film mm. as much as he did with Patan and the other films. Jawan. Because it's also of because of the vibe it's created. Yeah. yeah. So there's a certain vibe that people have a check on right now. And I feel that uh, there's an amalgamation of different kinds of platforms. Mm. There's uh, YouTube shorts, there's <clears throat> YouTube, there's social media. Instagram reels. So it's not that cinema is the only bandwagon yeah. that's actually... Uh, yeah. Promoting True. culture or some kind of news, or even like getting entertainment. That's entertainment. It. that's yeah. actually a cinema has become a small part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for me to yeah. actually so, understand about South India or North India, I used to watch films as a child. Now I get that culture uh, every, reference everything yeah. on my phone. So what is it that you are presenting in a very novel way? It has to be outlandish, probably. It has to be out of the box. It has to be louder than reality. Heightened. Or heightened or completely be silent. You never know. But I think it's a very interesting time, very challenging, and I feel that the vibe of the film matters a lot, right. along with True. the star. I think the classic I, example yeah. is Animal. The trailer yeah. was enough to get everybody buzzed and going. Yeah. Actually, yeah. like for for Decoit, we've done a pre. Yeah, that was also very good. Yeah. Thing which which that has created so much. That was very buzz. nice. I saw yeah. a picture of you with a mask. No, like you a... didn't see it. No, you won't see my <laughs> thing. <laughs> you didn't see the teaser. The you, teaser was very bad, yeah. sir. <laughs> okay, let's get on with the discussion. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember this happening even with Vikram, with the table and everything. Yeah. It, I think now because people are like, it's not about shorter attention spans. It's just so much information yeah, overload. Yeah. So which which grabs your attention? Sir, we have to yeah. create the curiosity for all the audience to see the film. Right. That's no, like Shobu said, you yeah. know, Animal was a prime example. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, like you're auditioning when yourself. Came out, I, collections were. So yeah. it's almost like movies are auditioning. Yeah. I don't know if that makes yeah, yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. 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 It's like a movie is yeah. doing an audition for the audience. And then they're making two decisions. Yeah. Either. I won't watch, no, three decisions. I won't watch it. I'll watch it at home. I'll go to theater. Yeah. Yeah. Right. One of the three. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, so, I say that sometimes. Uh, theater, uh, yeah, watch that's it. what. So, yeah. uh, one is, uh, I'm not going to waste my time on this film. Two is, I'll, I like this, but I'll, I'll watch it when it comes three weeks later in the comfort of yeah. my home. Correct. True. Fourth is, no, I want to go. Right. right now and see Sometimes it. That is the sweet spot that we need to hit. In the pre-planning itself, don't you realize that this is a sitting at home movie sometimes? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's, a, that's a conscious, no, no, that's yeah. a conscious call yeah. you take. Some yeah. movies are brilliant, great stories to be told, but not for theatre. Right. Yep. You have to True. make those yeah. 
in the budgets True. and then the in the, the the way it works at home. Theatre right. is now a different animal. Yeah. yeah, you have to make an event like Diwali or yeah. you know, mm. sundown, mm. Uh, some concert kind of a thing. Right. So only then people are using that energy to get up from their comfort zone to book a ticket and go there. Correct. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not. And yeah. then pay for the popcorn, yeah, and the drinks, the and the. Everything. Basically, we have to we have to scratch their anxiety, sir, right. <laughs> to make sure that they come to the end. <laughs> and we have to hire Tarun to do the marketing for everybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> But I, we'll come back to animal later because right. there's something that I want to ask about that. But I, I'm very interested in something that you said, which is like, it's very hard to penetrate into certain pockets of... Yes. Yeah. What, what is that? Uh, so I feel that uh, there are lots of, I mean, there must be a lot of political reasons or different conditions of certain areas. Uh, they're very, uh, there are a lot of fan bases in Andhra Seeded also. For them to actually come out and there's been a lot of reforms. Uh, in ticket prices, that yeah. kind of altered a lot of things. But definitely, I'm pretty sure that Andhra and Syria is difficult to collect. Yeah, it's for, so, uh, for the kind of films that you make. Yeah. So, like, especially, there's, I don't know the history behind this, but like Seeded is a hardcore action driven mass film base. Mm. Uh, as a, as a, not generalizing, but majority yes, is. Right. Like in Seeded, none of this, uh, like, uh, even like lighter films. I'm not saying uh, art films, even commercial films, but lighter films don't work in Seeded area. Like again, Vizag is a different, has mm. a different culture there. Yes. Again, uh, you know, you have that uh, lighter films, uh, family dramas, all those work in Vizag territory. Nizam is more cosmopolitan that yeah. way. So, so geographically, there's different stories of their yeah. households that is defining the theatrical revenue. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. so for so something for, like, uh, sorry, so no, no. something like Kida, Kida Kola, uh, or in that range of films, they they all find it uh, the multiplex and the urban centers are very easy to penetrate. The audience comes for those, but once you go a little lower to get audience to theater for that kind of, for the BC centers, the BC center. centers BC is much more much more difficult. Very difficult. And, as, and even Telangana is better, but like when you go into seeded is the so basically the uh, people are exposed to different cinemas in the c cities and the regions around. Right. The Sirail Sima or the uh, Andhra area, they're not exposed so much, right. as much as the Hyderabad. Place. And that's, you, would you say that's very star heavy? Like they would go yeah. for yeah. Yeah. the star, star, star heavy. Yeah, star heavy, action heavy. Seated is action very heavy. action heavy. Yeah. Very yeah. action heavy. Yeah. Very action heavy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah, so. So that's what you're. You so were definitely yeah, one that thing. That was a major problem. Sorry. I mean, yeah, yeah. So. Hey, hey, no. please, please. so that was a major op challenge, if that's the right word. So now I'm trying to understand what is the mentality of the audience there. That Outside of the star power. Mm. Mm. So there's a common thread connecting everyone. So it might not, we might not agree. Uh, now we see a hero that is really uh, macho, uh, probably not abiding to the city culture right. mm. uh, or, you know, very global perspective of how a man should be. Mm. But there's something repressed in these guys, mm. in the rural segments, or probably the way they are, mm. that they are finding some kind of liberation and escapism through films like this action. Their right. need for mm. progress is greater than ours. Sir, or I'll tell you one, one example of yeah. Keda Kola, sir. He's, there's a scene where there, there's like, surrender the gun, surrender the, sur, surrender the bottle. He, the guy goes and communicates to the other group, surrender the bottle. bottle. So for that, Pe for that, people will not understand unless they're educated. Right. They're not exposed to the, those kind of thought, uh, films. Mm. So that is the reason why Tarun Bhaskar's films are we're not able to pen penetrate into those it's the, those areas. It's too, <laughs> it's, it's, it's too classy. <laughs> so I'm just coming. You know, so wouldn't you have to, if you want to do hit that sweet spot that Shobhu talked about, would that involve like thinking in a whole new way? Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, right now it's a blank canvas for me, but I take it, it up as a massive challenge. Right, yeah. Because I understand uh, people. I mean, I roamed around with a lot of people. I empathize with everyone. I have conversations with everyone. But one thing I realize is uh, there's nothing more intelligent than emotion. Right. Yeah. And as long as I can catch so on to that, yes. uh, you know, that's the right direction. Right. Because uh, if Wally worked throughout the world with characters yeah. that we don't even know, it's just emotion. And yes. there's no dialogue also to convey yeah. that. Yeah. As long as I get the emotion of people in Sidhir Andhra and I understand, empathize with them, right. then I'm a true filmmaker and I'm on that journey. Right. That's so even little, Charlie yeah. Chaplin's are also did films where yeah. there's not like no dialogues there. Yeah. Yeah. There used to be like placards coming up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 A conversation placards. Right. Right. So, so it's always about the emotion. Yeah, so I am on that journey now. Right. 
So right now, would you say like this is a question to all of you? Would you say that that film Telugu films uh, accommodate everything like th from the big star films to like the very very small films? Because one of the surprise hits this year was Balagam, and uh, when I came here to uh, interview the team, they themselves seemed. <laughs> like taken aback by the extent of the success, you know, Always. because they could believe it. It is like, like Priyada, she kept saying, uh, so we couldn't believe it, you could believe it. You know, it was like, it was so sweet. But that movie was a huge hit. Yes, Why sir. do you think this struck such a chord? It's like... See, I think again, it comes back to emotion. Yeah. And I think the uh, Balagam, uh, the, 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 ethnic, the nativity of it and the emotion of it connected, with, especially with the Telangana story. But uh, like going back to what you said, I think Telugu people, uh, are by and large very, very patronized. I mean, they love films. And they're given an opportunity, they'll want to come and see it in theatre. They yes. celebrate films, sir. They celebrate yes. films. I remember post-COVID, Crack came out, which was the first film in January. Yeah. And I was like, why are these guys doing it now? We're still in it. Yeah. But everyone came and then I was like, oh, these, this, is, this is a place that loves yeah. Yeah. watching movies as an event yeah yeah you if, know? if you don't as long as you don't take them for granted yep. and you yeah. give them what they want uh, i think they'll come and uh, they all come and watch faithful. Faithful. sir i yeah. think the audience faithful. are the only audience where they accept all their films sir right. any language films right. it'd be malayalam films or kannada films or tamil films and hindi films they love to see films because right. it's a celebration for them for them to come to theater it's like yes i have achieved to a, a ticket to watch this film Right. Like we have Salar to. is a prime example of that, right? After Prabhas hadn't had a great run with his previous films and now they're seeing him in his avatar, yeah, people yeah. are lapping it up. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, and even the uh, Jaila. The yeah. opening. The opening. Yeah. 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 One o'clock show from yeah. one it's in love. the morning. It was yeah, like, it's mm. love in a different form. Yeah. 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 Even for Jaila, it was like very on par with the Tamil, or the Tamil film because it actually had that aura because aura we Telugu yeah. people actually loved that. Yeah, I was wondering how Jayla did well here. Yeah, so Jayla, Vikram, so they're, they're all films where even Leo loved well. Yeah, Leo also. Yeah. Leo did well, yeah. You, you brought up Animal. That has a hero in Ranbir Kapoor who is familiar to the Hindi movie watching audience here, but the, like basically the Tarun Vaskar audience. Right? It's like we're talking about that. <laughs> so, the posh audience. Uh, the posh audience, right? But <laughs> your an animal did well here. Yeah, it did very well. Right. Yeah. So, are you also saying that as long as a film is working... For animal, for me, I think one is Sandeep is, uh, is a, known, yeah. a known director here. Right. It is uh, uh, Arjun Reddy and all. He's uh, well known. Right. Uh, two, the trailer was like really blew the lid right. off. And three, Ranbir and all came and promoted here. Right. They took it seriously. And like I said, when you don't take the audience for granted and you come and, yeah. you know, make that effort to connect with the audience here, yeah. people respond. How much and don't does you that help, Shobo, in terms of... It helps. Actually, it, helps. Yeah. it helps. It, it, it helps. helps. It, that, that connecting... See, for, for because Salar... Because it's effort you're putting. Yeah. For Salar, uh, in Telugu, it doesn't matter. Because right. you have a great hero. People want to come and see him. The trailer is... The people are waiting to see the trailer. I, yeah, definitely. So, so, but for Salar in Hindi... Would have, uh, would have helped if there was more promotion. Right. I mean, it's like this, you know, oh. when someone comes and gives you the wedding invitation, you're most likely to go for the yeah. wedding. Where it's it's just yeah, I yeah. feel promotions is like that. Yeah, way. absolutely. So, but I also feel coming back to the, I mean, I don't know if you agree with me. So I've, I've always noticed more openness to Hindi cinema and actors and Telugu audiences than I have in other audiences. In, in yeah. Hyderabad and Naisa area, definitely, yeah. yeah, definitely. So I right. feel and I, so, so Ranbir acceptance. came for Brahmastra. Yeah. Uh, Ranbir came for, uh, you know, and made that whole effort with Rajmoli and all to, to penetrate Brahmastra. Right. And then made, so you connect and then so there is... Brahmastra did, did well. So everything everything was did like well. a, they laid a path. Brahmastra so, did yeah. well. I mean, for a Hindi film, it did, for, uh, right. it did numbers much beyond the Hindi film would have done. Right. And uh, this was also because the combination of everything else it did. Uh, right. In the Hindi film industry, I've heard that, well, Shah Rukh didn't promote Pathan. And they didn't basically do anything. So, but, he's but, but the movie was like, like, like See, this. The, he, he's Shahrukh in Hindi, yeah. right? Uh, like that's what Pra Prabhas doesn't need any promotion here. Yeah. In this, in, because Prabhas again did not do much promotion. For he, this. In, yeah. in Salar, yeah. he, does, yeah. he doesn't yeah. need to do promotion. Right. I mean, right. he, it's, I mean, you can do it'll help, but it's not required. But when Salar is coming up against Shahrukhs in uh, Dunkey in Hindi, 
if you had done promotions and you have pushed it, I'm sure you would have seen a better result. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it would have been better in than Hindi. Better in Hindi. Better in Hindi. numbers, yeah. In Hindi, better I numbers. think promotions work. Yeah. They always have. Right. When you have a market that is uh, yours, you don't need, in your strong market, like even Bahubali, when we did even part one, we did not do even one television commercial in, in Telugu. Uh, we, we, we didn't do, we didn't spend one rupee on Telugu comma, Telugu ads. But, you didn't but Hindi, we went all out. Right. We did whatever we can, I mean, including this thing. So in Telugu, we don't need to, and there's no point wasting that resource because audience that is already ready ready to any year to come. Right. But there is an audience that needs to know that there's a film that exists. Right. So I was speaking to Anil uh, Tadani. Uh, so he said, Salar, the trailer, the second trailer came so late that people see here people are waiting for the to see the trailer film itself. Uh, uh, the film the and film. the trailer also. Yeah, yeah. There they're not waiting. You need to let the t you need time for the trailer to percolate, and you need someone to go and tell that oh, hey, uh, you know, uh, my trailer is coming, my film is coming. Yeah. Uh, look at the trailer also. No, it's not just because you put the trailer, everybody is waiting to see the trailer. Right. Know? So you need someone to go and tell, make some noise saying my film, my trailer is here today. Please watch it. Right. right you need right. to have that. Th that piece required. So right. with Salar. Neither of you, that is Shruti nor Shreya, I, I think before the film... I did one did... interview which is still not come. Oh. <laughs> Just saying. Right. And you didn't... I you, wore a nice sari. And you only done stuff after, right? Yeah. I was not allowed to because it was a surprise of the film. Yeah, there was so, so right. much oh. of... Uh, so I was how much can to. we say also? Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So I didn't like, want what the look or the name or anything yeah. to, be, to be out. So Okay. It, there was a lot of, uh, like, you know... Anxiety or anxiety. Yeah, what Anxibation. do we say? How do, do we? It it didn't feel like also promoting a normal move. I don't know how to explain yeah. it. I <laughs> felt like we were in the CIA. Let's yeah. just put it that way. Yeah. Like how much can I say and how much can yeah. I not say? Like, yeah. Okay. All it's right. like a proper interrogation. And it's such a big, large scale project. So, you know, you kind of leave it to them to to, to yeah. guide you yeah, and how we must right. do it. You just zip the lip. Pretty much. But but yeah. in case of Salar, uh, for me, if I were uh, whatever in, in any way involved, my my, I might be wrong, right. but I would have presented the world much before of to the Kansa. audience mm -hmm. of Kansa. That is a new world. So that people can understand. People can understand. People come prepared to act to to know that there is a, a character, new world. Ca character yeah. But Shobha, yeah. having said that, even when PS One and PS Two came. I found it very confusing myself. Like yeah. I couldn't understand. It's because you all film. haven't watched Lord of the Rings trilogies enough. <laughs> no, but still, like we, I don't know. No, that, I got a lot of people did yeah, say. That yeah, I didn't understand yeah. the. No, that's what. So, uh, but if you present the world before yeah, and right. say that this is the world, these are the characters, Correct. and this is what you're coming to see. But sir, There's don't you think people are worried like in this day of social media, like how much do you put out in advance? No, no, but it makes um, sense now. No, because, there is. Yeah. But you have to calibrate it in a way that you need to put it at it's least... It's such a tricky game. No, it is, but so when you're... Ekua, we, if you put out too much and then people are like... Are ye but you know what, Shruti, mm -hmm. now the, the biggest success of Salar, I feel, is discussion. Mm. Like today, we are all are sitting on our tables and discussing who is this, why is this here, that. So like Shobhu said, if this everyone's was... asking me, what did your dad do? The, my movie dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also yeah. get that question. <laughs> yeah. So, but like he said, if it's presented before, it kind of makes a little sense for people to understand. Not the whole story. I'm not saying the whole Sir, story. No, but yeah. I, I, I feel, feel... For my I film, Virupaksha, feel... we did a character uh, introduction event. Right. Where all the characters of the film were introduced. In their get-up, in their look, oh, and nice. what they were doing. Yeah. Before the film. Before the film released. released. Okay. So, that actually gave us the... Uh, uh, the uh, Idea about giving out people like these are the characters you're going to see in the film. Yeah. So yeah. everybody Not to be had like team Salar and like be like. But I have to say I think for Prashant sir as well as for Prabhas, the pressures were very different, much more than we can fathom sitting yeah, here yeah, and yeah, discussing yeah. Course, it. And yeah. Absolutely. They had different pressures. They had different fears. They had different confidences. Whatever it is, I know that everyone, any one of us who says we're not worried about social media, public opinion, tilting our project, which is something creative, sacred and beautiful to us in a negative space is lying because we are all, we are all True. at the mercy of that. Mm. So when you've spent that much time, effort, money yeah. in creating Khansar or Bahubali or anything, there is a like a flip of the coin situation and how much you share right. before social media rips it to shreds. Right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. True. Yeah. So I this is a, again question to all of you. I want to know from a point of view, a director, a producer, and as actors, 
see the thing is today a lot of people that i've spoken to in the film industry they seem to think that revealing as much as possible only enables the audience to say this i mean the idea is to familiarize themselves yeah. because nobody mm. wants to come to a movie totally there are days of i don't know anything about this i'm going to go in mm. for a total that's they say that's gone yeah, yeah. and they no, want to know at least like 50% of what they're going to expect because that expectation is what creates the thing yeah. and one other funny theory i heard is today people don't care if, if some of the surprise is spoiled or whatever it is because there's always smartphones and when they're not looking up there they're looking up they're doing this mm. yeah what do you guys have to say about this it's no, like I, the amazon product review cuz people are like buying based on all, all the, the information yeah. so everything we live in today is like that so why wouldn't they want to watch movies that way right. is it's just a basic i think right. Right. no i firmly believe like i said you need to set the right context for an audience to come and see the film through the trailer to the uh, First through the posters and everything else and the social media that you yeah. do there is of course uh, 100% there is cases where you get trolled as a backlash when it doesn't land properly but that is a risk that i if i'm the producer and mm. in my films i'm willing to take yeah. i mean and different films like i said different people different producers okay. different directors have their own different things yeah, yeah. i'm not saying one is right or one is wrong but uh, in today's context and when the time is of uh, time is precious you uh, you get send them prepared into an auditorium they know what to expect and uh, they, they enjoy the thing but right. i'm just giving an exaggerated thing if you prepare them for a comedy and they go see an action film or if you if they're thinking it's an action film and then they go see a comedy it's a different kind of audience that the mindset that they're coming to right, right, right. so you don't want that i mean uh, so you want them come coming prepared. prepared like animal i think prepared them exactly yeah, for what yeah, they're getting yeah, into yeah. So they knew like exa- 2 plus 2 is for if four, audience yeah. went into went in there saying i expected something else there they uh, i mean they're not uh, whatever i know the word you took <laughs> <laughs> so they know exactly what they were going for yeah. right uh, and if you so went to the theater and then you said it is like this levels. like that then that's your problem levels. <laughs> whatever whatever we show them should actually create that anticipation for them to anxiety for them to watch in the th- theaters right no <laughs> as a, as a as a leading man so, uh, if the script of animal came to you would you do it and what i'm trying to ask is because there's a psychopathic nature to the character and all that would you like is it a safe zone to be in as a telugu film hero uh, to kind of get into that kind of an extreme zone yeah uh, sir the philippines name is animal right the lead character behave like an animal right and the lead ca- character went back like went to his family right. like animals are attacking packs or in uh, prides or uh, as an ambush but then they are attacking groups and then the way he behaved was more like an animal so that actually gave me a lot of excitement as an actor like how i can behave like an animal i can do all this and then the characters are around him also behave like animals like uh, anand kapoor sir and rashmika garu they actually acted like that when they were actually uh, threatened by or the lead character they actually behave like that they actually attack their person so that actually got me ex- excited the second time i watched the film i understood what sandeep reddy was sandeep reddy vanga was doing for me it was more of that he was actually bringing out the animal inside me right on in front of the camera so that i would definitely would love to do it right right because it's something that is very very different for me to actually see or do on screen right right would would you say that's that's kind of what you're you're trying to do as well give as different an experience as possible yeah it has to be novel sir i mean unless it's novel i don't think people are going to watch it mm. i mean it can have the same bones of a structure that's already worked mm. because i feel that there are only few emotions that we can probably target and everybody has that same arc happening it's about the treatment it's about how you want to treat the character a father son bonding has been extensively shown in indian cinema throughout True. the ages but True. you know it's about today's time uh, the setting is very different the characters are very different i mean it depends upon person to person and i think yeah that's where i'm heading to as well right right so i have i have done a film where father son bondings have been shown my early film republic and before that with chitalari was more about the father son bonding all the all the throughout but then animal was a different depiction about how father and son should be or are willing to be in the on screen right so it's a totally different take altogether because it's relatively like new did that penetrate into the Yeah, the, the 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 the, uh, the areas that you the, know you t- t- were talking about earlier uh, in terms of animal 
Yeah. So animal for me, I think uh, looking back, I think what worked was the father son relationship in a different way, but also the aggression that he showed in a very different way. Right. I won't say it's violence, but it's more for me it's the aggression and the right. and the uh, and the anger and the uh, and the you know the faulty uh, faulty protagonist. It came out very new and it was very something that people have not seen on cinema before. No, right? but you're saying it reached the the regions where you were saying earlier. Yeah, it did. You were saying earlier that yeah, some, that, some things work only in the metros, yeah. right? This yeah, went no, this, this was, I think, uh, I don't know the exact numbers and how much it, it did. I didn't follow, but, but it did reach a larger audience base, uh, definitely, yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. But because of that aggression that action, you know, uh, and uh, the emotion that was completely... I think a lot of women had a lot of issues with the film. Uh, but secretly, women actually loved it. I haven't seen it. I don't it. know. So, I mean, uh, I watched it. I did have issues with it. But I know people, women, who loved it secretly, but had issues with it. So that's, I guess that's yeah. why the film... Yeah, yeah they, I mean, uh, see, I don't know. Uh, not even secret. I know many of the... Yeah. Uh, people, especially Arjun Reddy and this, uh, many of the late women that I know liked it. I yeah, mean, it's yeah. not it's not that they uh, relate with it or agree with it, but as a film, they yeah, they sort of the story. story. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a story. It's not yeah. that you you are empathizing <laughs> with that character yeah. or not. It is more uh, more about liking it as a as a film. Right. Uh, yeah. uh, they they liked it. Right. Uh, it's not that uh, you support that cause or you support something, uh, you know, uh, yeah. uh, you're for that kind of behavior. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think but the discussion everyone's having is like how much responsibility do films have. I also feel that ultimately the responsibility of the creators to tell the story in the way they want. And then everything else is up to viewer discretion. I, I read an interview of yours recently where you said something like, when you were asked about the violence in Salar, you said something like, it's up to the, the viewer. Yeah. The viewer has to make up their mind Rather because you you said I'm also a mental health advocate. Yes. And like, but but people have to be responsible for their something like that. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm also someone who's sober for eight nine years, so I know which bar not to walk into. Let's just say that. Or if I'm if we are anxious people, we know what situations to avoid. So I think Salar or Animal or any of these films pretty much depict right off the bat that this is what to. Yeah. I mean, Prabhas so walked in and someone's limb was flying off in the trailer. I think it kind of sets the tone. Yeah. And uh, I do think that if we get too much into putting us in the space of being social reformers, it always becomes a problem a little bit because an artist's goal, be it Vincent van Gogh or a filmmaker, is to make the art they want to make as well. So that's why you have censorship and you get a certification and then it's up to viewer discretion is what... I personally yeah think. right right and rest is up to discussion yeah so when when you make your movies yes let's say you are slapped with an A certificate right would that bother you A certificate and uh, no would it would it mean reduced revenues or anything like that it's yes a, definitely yeah, yeah. For a, affect, especially uh, for a film like that no even for Salar or Animal yeah, it, it they all affect. have a definitely a, a reduced revenues okay. so for uh, films like the films like uh, the ones that I've done it affects much more than yeah. Yeah. See, because the, for the, the bigger ones, at least the hero driven, so they, they, they are uh, coming. But for a film like Ida Kola, if you have an A certificate, it kind of cuts off a huge chunk huge of audience. Of huge right, so. right, right. So, but actually, I think Animal Sandeep was very excited. He would have been offended if he got a... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wanted an A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was Sandeep was aiming for that A. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he passed. He passed the... What, what he he passed Animal and A for... <laughs> so, to end it all, what's what's what are your expectations for Telugu cinema in 2024? You're not going to tell us what Salar 2 is all about. <laughs> so, I don't think you know her. I of don't course. think you, you know, know her. Yes, of course. I because know only like Arag or like half court, yeah. like here and no, there. No, the, no, the script is locked. And the I mean, script is locked. Yeah, yeah, abhi bhi pakri hai, like I feel. Like no, the no, the script is locked. <laughs> and uh, the reason I knew what Radha Rama does in the second half because she needed, I needed to know because it is a continuation of what she does from here on. Uh, you really give Prashant a hard time. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah, she's you know, done she's, full tuition she has done. Yeah, yeah. she's <laughs> taken a class on like... <laughs> If you need to approach me, this is all the stuff that you need to do. It's like, you know, so. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I would uh, want more interesting uh, characters written for women. And uh, and I think we are heading that way. So. Ha has this rekindled your, like, 
you yeah, know. Yeah, because even in OG, I have such a brilliant character and uh, I'm so excited about it. Right. That's a 2024 release, right? That's... Hopefully, sir. Hopefully. Don't look at me. I don't know. Yeah, it, it will be a 2024 yes, yes, yes. release, yes. And you? Sir, I'm taking a break right now. Because I want to recover from my accident. I have a lot of other things to handle. So, most probably, I'll be starting my shoot in Jan with uh, Sampandandi, sir. It's called Ganja Shankar. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that's one film that I'm looking forward to. Yeah. And it's quite ex exciting because I'm doing a commercial film after like four years. Wow. Right. So I've taken a break from uh, commercial films, focused more on re realistic and good films. Right. So this film is a very good film, but at the same time, it's a commercial film. Right. Yeah. You know, you, when I watched Virupaksha, I, I liked the film. And one thing that struck me is across languages, sir. that folklorish horror really yes, works. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, it's sir. Just, just yes, people sir. love that, yeah. that zone, right? True, it's like. Yeah. It's like listening to a grandmother's tale or something true, like true. that. I mean, like a little scary grandmother's yeah, tale, course. but you know what Basically, I mean. Basically, like, uh, mm -hmm. people are used to horror comedies. So, we wanted to do a horror film, but a serious horror film. Yeah, No, I think there's and something inside us that even though we're all scientific, rational people, I there's something that... I haven't seen my own films because I'm scared of horror films. <laughs> no. You haven't seen Virupaksha. I haven't. Na, Parkla, sir. Yo. <laughs> so, I haven't seen that film. So, the moment I heard that they're doing a horror, we are doing a horror film, I was like... <laughs> Sukma sir actually told me it's a nice film, it's a love story, Tejo, just listen to it. I was like, okay sir, I heard it. And then the, the moment he started off the narration, he said, it's a horror film. I was like, please hold, give me one minute. I went back into my room, I got a pillow, I got a hand like this, and I was like, I sat down. So I then... I serious about this. I didn't see the film, sir. You no, like the narration, you yeah. were like hugging a pillow. I was pillow like this. So why is he hugging the pillow today? Yeah. I'm scared of the ladies <laughs> in the room. Yeah. I think I'm he's scared of Radha Ram. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm scared of the ladies in the room, sir. Yeah. Ladies? Ah, yeah, hey. both the ladies. Chennai yeah. Ponna, sir. Oh, yeah, you're Chennai Ponna. He's a Chennai Ponna. Yeah, actually, that's how they say it's from Chennai connection here. You're, you're from Chennai, you're from... Like, as, as in... Yeah, so... No, we've done a swap, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, uh, for me uh, personally, for me, I think I'm personally in the sense you've got uh, films rolling out. Films rolling next year. We have some shows coming out, <laughs> but and it looks like it's going to be an, uh, as an industry as well. It's going to be an exciting time. I think f good films are doing good, which is a good sign. Okay. Right. So, uh, so even good films don't do well, that's a problem. But as long as good films are doing well, that's a good sign. So I think uh, and next year seems promising. There's some good projects in the pipeline. Right. And for since industry you, itself, I'm saying. Since you that. said shows, one of the things that uh, that created a lot of controversy was Venkatesh acting in a series like Rana Naidu, uh, Rana Naidu Rana and, Rana. and and to going totally against his right. his Great, yeah. family image. Yeah. What surprised me was, like even today, does image matter? So again, I think uh, Rana Naidu. Uh, the, 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 again, it's like Animal, right? It is. It's one of the most watched shows. Right. Right. It's. It's one They're of the biggest. Doing a even in, and people have seen it. Right. But just that, they uh, they were not prepared to see uh, Venki in, in that kind of a role. So it was a shocker for them. Yeah. For some of them, so especially the Telugu audience who are used to see. Also, because he's just extra lovable. Yeah. Yeah. So it kind of. I think they went in with the wrong expectation. Right. They went in thinking they'll see a family drama. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're saying that when part two comes out, they'll be prepared they'll for be it. Prepared. And, and like yeah. season two comes out. Yeah, yeah, season two comes out, they'll be prepared for it. Right. And those who don't want to watch it, will not watch it. But there's yeah. agreement. Yeah. They were expecting Sita market or Sita too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, there was something <laughs> like that where people thought, how how far can he go, right. Venkatesh? We have seen him so many. Years. Right. <laughs> I think it's true. Yeah. But it, at some point, you have to break the mold. No, you can't just keep doing uh, what you have what the audience is pr mentally prepared for. Yeah, you, actually you, an another film that I thought kind of broke the mold was Hi Nana. Hmm. Uh, because like when I spoke to Nani, he was saying that it's, it's, it's we made sure that we put in very high production values. Uh, we made, wanted it to look a certain way. We wanted the music to be a certain way. We kind of, we knew that it may not go too much into mass, but that kind of a thing. Do those films have enough of a, like a market? So again, it all, I think uh, what uh, Tarun also was uh, alluding to is you need to, make every film has a market, right? right? right. It it's depends a budget. on, it's a budget, right? In what budget can you do it? 
uh, there is a in the, uh, every story. I mean, not every every story has a certain mark. Right, right. So some stories will go all across, go deep, go wide. Some will only be a certain. You you need to understand that and spend accordingly. Right. There's no point spending at I mean way beyond what you can actually. Right. So I think uh, that is important. So if Tarun wants to make a movie that goes deep, goes wide, as you say, right. What would that movie have to be? One, he needs a big star. One, he needs a big. Okay. Mm. And uh, two, there should be some. Uh, I mean, his elements will be there, uh, and uh, how he utilizes that star with his elements will be the sweet spot. Sweet. Right. Right. So that can be whether it's an innovative action or some amount of comedy and action. You know, comedy, comedy action kind of a thing. You know, th those are something that he is connected to at the same time as a filmmaker, but at the same time. I, think, I right. don't know if I'm giving gyan, but that's <laughs> no, no, no. Just, just as a as a person who's yeah, been around, that's, because that's my yeah, that's like, yeah. my that's what I would right, right. Which right. for uh, for an actor also will be something new that he's exploring, you know. Right, and and you're saying that the like like what he said the the tier two, tier three BC centers, or I don't know if they're still called BC centers, but yeah. they're open to their heroes experimenting. See, I don't know the honest answer for that, uh, but so uh, I th I think. Uh, they are very open for experimentation because that that's the reason why my film Virupaksha was a big success in all the centers. Right. Because they are willing to watch films, watch, watch films which are, which are very different right. from what they've seen. They want to see something exciting them. No, so, yeah. So for me, the thing is, fans only make up a certain portion, right? Uh, there's a big section of the audience who's, who who are want not, to see the movie. Who wants to see the movie? So you can't just do everything for fans. So. Yeah. I mean, you have to do something, but you can't. It can't be driven solely Maybe from a fan. Some elements can be added into yeah. the film, yeah. but then it can't be always fans driven. Right. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. But of and I think personally, actors should break the mold. Should not be typecast into right. one kind of a yeah. Yeah. whether it's male That's or female key. actors. Yeah. That they need to do a variety of roles that audience <laughs> don't typecast them and true. say I only expect this from. True them. that. Right. True right. that. True right. that. Right. So they need to. I was a, you know, I was a part of that bandwagon where I was expected a, a certain kind of film from my side. Yeah. But then I had to break the mold yeah. and then I had to do another film, another, another type of film. Right. Does it also work? How does it work? Does it also, like, if you come from a certain uh, film family, do they expect you to be a certain way? Does, does is that what, what, how? Sir, I don't think so, sir. Okay. Uh, because uh, my cousin, Warren, he was doing different films altogether from the beginning. My brother came into this uh, field with a different film altogether. Right. So it is. It's always the what the film, which is like the story, the content of the film right. is more important than anything else. So that's what I believe that's in. Because the commercial films are not always commercial films. Right. Yeah. About Telugu cinema, right? And you have <laughs> the card coming up. So I just feel that um, I may be biased, but when I see other languages and there's uh, there's some sort of shakiness sometimes that I sense, which I don't sense that much in the Telugu film industry because there are different kinds of things being made. Plus, it's a position of privilege that has been earned through a lot of planning, hard work and consistent, like Sir said, consistently understanding what the audience wants and delivering. And so there's a great um, environment, I feel, of like flourishing, health, experimentation. Every kind of person is sitting at this round table. And that's the energy that I also personally feel in my life and career at this point. You know, once you've like, it's like once you've paid your loans and paid your debts and you're like saving and you're enjoying life, it is like that in the business, I feel, compared to other places that are still a bit shaky post-pandemic. I feel that it's done better here. I personally also feel in a very positive space of being able to enjoy the time I've put in and now enjoy that in terms of creativity. So I'm yeah. doing Dakoit, I'm doing two more films which will be starting in the early months of next year. Plus my music singles, one with my dad actually, which I'm super stoked about in Tamar. And I'm writing my first book as well. So wow. I'm just doing, A whole bunch I'm stuff. doing everything. It's full Carpe Diem mode right now for mm. me. I'm really enjoying and genuinely I wish I had lived more of my life this way as I do today, much earlier, but, but it's never better late. late than never, yeah. Yeah. as yeah. they say. So, yeah. So, when I met a producer, a Telugu film producer sometime back, he said that a lot of single screen theatres were being converted to Amazon warehouses. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And therefore, a lot of that audience was kind of gone. Mm. Is that 
is there a, is a pressure definitely there is a pressure yeah. on single screen cinema uh, 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 what's happening is because the few movies that do well are doing very well yeah. mm. and there are periods of you know gaps in between where in you periods. don't have audience coming especially in the uh, things yeah. so there is definitely a pressure on single screen theaters have come down quite a bit quite a bit, quite a bit. and also there is a question of uh, Uh, the land values have gone up so much, right? right? So yeah. commercial everywhere, viability, no? yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. The, the, uh, you're always tempted. You're sitting on a piece of property that's worth a lot of money, and a theater is probably not getting that kind of thing. You want to Revenue. make the better use yeah. of it. So, yeah. so in that way, yeah. you know, it's a, yeah. it's oh. yeah, yeah, it is. So Tarun, you came last. Yeah. <laughs> so you <laughs> finished. Late to class. Yeah, you you finished last. Yeah. Like, okay. So, so yeah. about Telugu cinema, sir. So I think uh, Telugu films uh, have been the front runner, uh, and I think they have a very strong understanding of uh, the market yeah. that runs the theatrical business, which other industries are still struggling. But uh, I think Telugu has that sensibility of the average audience, and we kind of know what to give to them in right. terms of stars or the big films. I also feel that now we are in a very difficult time because uh, other industries are still finding ground. and the ott markets have kind of crashed in a way but uh, everybody is relying on data uh, to make the next move uh, what has worked so far at least i'm talking about the non theatrical version mm. of things i feel that ott should now give some room for disruption mm. which does not exist in their previous data to allow smaller stories also to kind of come out there in terms of otts especially probably not theater theater i think it's one like one solid like So I hope Telugu cinema uh, has that also to offer. Are you saying you want the OTTs to produce original content? Original content, disruptive content, which, which is not the structure as. Which was the intention in the beginning, like right. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, allow storytellers to have different formats, break structure, break the rules, have women characters, transgenders, what not, but entertain all of that. Uh, do not kind of be hesitant because it's not in your data. because i think there's room for disruption now more than ever right because it's a very scary time i think people yeah. are still relying on data right now i hope telugu cinema takes that forefront uh, and i hope i'm a part of it that i'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and experiment with the big films now but i think it's a war of ideologies every filmmaker has a story to tell i'll use everything that i can to reach out to the maximum audience and that's my journey but that's a great place to be because usually yeah. when people say i want to experiment they want to make your kind of yeah. movie mm. <laughs> you want to experiment by making the other kind of yeah, movie yeah my therapist is rgv sir recently i had mm. a solo trip to goa came back and he said you have you're, you're in a zone of comfort sir sir i'm experimenting that's your comfort zone <laughs> ah, <laughs> and i was like yeah, aha yeah, moment yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 and then i said okay bring it on now yeah. i'm like a blank canvas i'm loading my arsenal and going straight for the kill uh, right it's like uh, talking to rgv is like you lease, receive a lot of very wisdom. riveting very yeah, riveting yeah, yeah. it's just like no and he can kind of change so uh, on rgv uh, on the day a few days after bahubali one released uh, I, we were in uh, i was he was in prabhas's house uh, guest house he and you know and i walked in and i was coming in he was like shobu come come good <laughs> till yesterday they thought you are a fool today you are a genius <laughs> <laughs> Only he could have only only him. Yeah. Yeah. It's like But it's so this, accurate yeah. for life. Yeah. So before this, uh, my mentor was Singitham sir. Yeah, yeah. So Singitham sir is, is amazing. Uh, this man who would say, "What do I do, sir? Ups and downs, filmmaking. You know, money. How do I make this?" And he looks at me and says, "Tarun, peace of mind is expensive." Okay, so that was a slap I received for so long, and then RG was a shit man. There's no peace of mind. Go straight to the kill. So different mentor now. So you're going to live with your anxiety issues. Yes, yeah, absolutely. You got to do that. So thanks all of you, thank and you, uh, hope you have a great pleasure. 2024. You thank too. You. Yes. yes. So you too, thank you all thank for, you for being here. Thank you for all your beautiful yeah. interviews with everyone this year. Thank you. Yeah, very insightful. Thank thanks you for so having much. us here. All sir. the best. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. GT Holidays South India's number 1 travel brand Nama Family Builder and Developer Private Limited ungal kanavugal nerivedum idam